Hello. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. Jump up. Jump up. Okay. No threat. Just thought I. I have no idea where I was going with that sentence. Let's go through a different door than we normally do, cause I'm rebellious. And let's go. What, what was that noise? Holy crap! It's a ghost. Let's chase it and kill it! Chase it and kill it! Oh wait, it's already dead. See? We just went through. Welcome to the backyard. We've been here before, but there's something a little bit different. There's coins! That's strange. Oh, hey. Wow. You can't collect the coins unless you do special shenanigans. And now it's kind of annoying to read all these signs, probably. But I don't know. But that's what that one sign was for. That's we ended up reading in part number two. And now this. What is this? This is a little shenanigan. Let us pick it up. Uh, touch. Oh, what? What? Mario jumped without me doing. Ah! This is course number five. I lied when I said we were going to course number six next because this is course number five. This is the post. This is the logical number order that we are supposed to go into next. And the first one on Big Boo's haunt is go on a ghost hunt. Pickle. Lots pickle. Come on in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Look at all these signs. I am so happy. Let's start with this one. Yeah. Whoa, kind of went over there. I'm teleporting. Yeah. Running around in circles makes some bad guys roll their eyes. Mm. Yes. What does this sign say? All these signs give you hints for the level. The Leonard Cap is inside. The blue block, Mr. I, will be surprised since you'll be invisible when you wear it. Even the big boo will be fooled and you can walk through secret walls too. Even if the walls aren't very secret, they have giant pictures of boos on them. Yes, so they're kind of obvious. You don't stand a ghost of a chance in this house. If you walk out of here, you deserve a cool medal. Ah, 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 that is a pun. A very funny pun. Psst, the bows are super shy. You look at them in the eyes. We've read this sign before. I whispered like last time. Oh, hey, it's a spider. Kill it! <laughs> so this is a door to a big haunted mansion. There's easy ways to trick your way up there, which is where you get a lot of the stars, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm trying to do this the legitimate way for all the stars most of the time. Here's piano, let's play the piano. Let's get eaten by the piano because that is the scariest thing of anyone's childhood, including mine. Because I've decided to break the laws of order, we can get this vanish cap before most people would normally get it. Land it straight on my head. These blues go right through me. And then I kill that one. Ghosts, don't. Uh, can you get out of here alive? Maybe. Ghosts don't die. <laughs> can you get out of here alive? Maybe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My audio kind of freaked out there. I couldn't hear. I'm not sure if you guys could still hear. But I wasn't able to hear for a second. Excuse me while I don't move so I can possibly fix my headphones. So the objective kill a lot of the ghosts. Not all of the ghosts, because there are some ghosts that won't trigger a squat. Ghosts don't die! <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Maybe. Anyway, one of the hints that was being referred to was Mr. I. This is Mr. I, spelt with an I, not an I-E-Y-E. -E. And if you run around him, he turns into a blue coin. So, we just took out the little colory part of his eye. We didn't take the pupil, that would be too morbid for Mario. So, though, that is a dangerous floor. This is a ghost that likes to hide. And it's being a real jerk right now. Well, what the? What the? It's, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of, like, right on the edge. It's going to be very hard for me to get it. Okay, let me touch it. Then jump pound. Ghosts don't die, hey, can you get out of here alive? Yes, we've heard that's one that's fell into a bottomless pit. I might be showing what's down there within this episode. I might not. I don't actually know, because I can fall in it right here. When I first played this, I fell in, like, exactly like that. Exactly like that. 
So, welcome to the underground area. We currently can't do anything. No matter how, no matter what you may have been told, I remember doing a test playthrough of this area. I tried to skip the star that I was originally going for. Went in there to try to get the star that's in there. Nothing is in there. It's just nothingness. But I like that music. It's very creepy. And let's a go. Whoops, I meant to do a triple jump, but failed. And now, so I hit the wall out of anger, and I'll punch your face out of anger, kick it too. And then I will also ignore Mr. I, which is actually very rare. I love to kill every enemy that touches my sights. Balls. Thing. I don't know what I was trying to say there. But let's go through this door. It's a little shortcut to this room. Let's just go over here. Last time I failed a second time. Boo! M. Here comes the master of mischief, the tower of terror, the big boo. Ka ah ah ah. Yay! That's always fun. I almost fell again. But I didn't, because I am awesome at life. This is a ghost. You can walk through him, except not all the way through him, because he will do shenanigans that will make him uh, reappear while you're in him. Because you will be. Stop doing that! You punk! I beat your face! Ah, trying to. Interrupting my interestingness. Anyway, the star appears up there, which unlocks. The staircase of death in doom and destruction. So this is the way you're supposed to get up here. And every level after the every star after this in this world, you will automatically be able to go up the stairs. The stairs will always be there. And yes, that is how logic works. Sometimes I just saw through that wall due to camera. But because of my the way I play, we are now going downstairs to course number six, maybe. So course number six is where we shall go next. Because that is the correct order. So let us a go. Let us a go, let us a go, let us a go. Through the door! Jump here! I'm actually looking for my best buddy Toad! Try to punch him! Cause he owes me money. Hold on to your hat! If you lose it, you'll be injured easily! Yes, I will go into that later. If you do lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. I actually think there's a specific course where you can always find your cap no matter where you lose it. I could be wrong. You can let me know, cause I'm not gonna test that. But, then I will show you Capitalist Mario. Later. Oh boy, it's not... It's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario, you have to help her. Did you know that there are enemies' worlds inside the walls? No, we've been jumping into them just for no reason. I mean, wait, this is actually hinting at something else. Yep, it's true. Bowser's troops are there, too. Oh, hey, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. Oh, what a jerk. He's holding a star? This doesn't make up for the money that you owe me, sir. Here we go. Wow, another power star now gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you want to save? Sure, why not? Now we enter course number six. So let's go. Right in the middle, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, swimming beast in the cavern. So let's get it. So, now I will get the metal cap. I will get the metal cap and put it on stylishly. Touch the spider and kill it instantaneously. So there's actually no real point in becoming Metal Mario here. It's just for shenanigans. For shenanigans, Jay. Speed running tactics. Let's see if I won't fail this time. Yeah, I didn't fail. I succeeded. I am success. I am winner. And I noticed while watching my playthrough of this that I skipped a sign. Actually, I skipped a couple signs. Let's read this sign. Down underground lake, left black hole, right, hazy maze, closed. So this is an exit. Ow! <laughs> and this is a one-up. I'm not crying. Shut up. Anyway, this is an elevator. This elevator looks very interesting. I never understood why it looks the way it looks. And this is me pounding my butt. And this is me running down the the thing with this flame wave. Without getting the metal cap, because that'll just slow me down. 
and I won't be able to do, and I won't do the things that I want to do. Here's Dory! I still think that's her name, I didn't look it up. But now, we will get to her again. I think you can actually get on her head without doing a backflip. And I think actually standing on her back now, she still goes where you're facing, regardless. So, let's just do this before she turns all the way around, she kind of almost, whoa! No, 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 no! Stay, stay, whoa! Stay, no, 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 no! Don't be a giant! Woo! I'm sorry for that noise. You may hear it again in the near future. Anyway, I'm facing the correct direction due to Mario logic. It just kind of put me there. I gotta grab every single coin except that one because it's a loner! <laughs> oh, there's a sign that I missed over there. Oh well, I don't know. I'll read it later. We're, we'll be back. Swimming beast in the cavern! With 20 coins, be jealous! Die, try! Or don't die, try, I don't know. Anyway, let us go through door number 57 and a half. So, there's a bunny! Let us catch said bunny! I wonder if this bunny is on a. Ow! Date. Ah, you make me run into walls, little bunny! I shall kill you! I'll crack your neck and murder your face and your family and your date. Ha! Um, this didn't go as planned, actually. Yeah, unhand me, Brew. I'm late. So late. I must make haste. This shiny thing, mine. It's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch, take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. And because we cracked his neck, he no longer moves, regardless of the fact that he has a date. So peace. Wow, another power somehow against more courage! We've read this before! Um, I actually didn't mean to catch him this soon, because I was going to do a little funny trick. Uh, kind of trick you into thinking that I'm an idiot or something. I was going to put him, he was going to be here. I was going to die for him, and then I was going to like... Let's, let, me, let, me, let me reenact what I was going to do. Um, okay. There's the bunny! I'm gonna go catch it! Woohoo! Oh. oh, the wall! It's shaky! Oh my gosh, what is this? It's so mysterious! It wasn't hinted at me on a toad three seconds ago! This isn't actually the next course, but I'm gonna get the first star in it because that is what I have decided. Because I failed, that's my little trick. There's actually a little shortcut that I'll be showing here soon or, or later. That is, whoa! That was logic. That's a pokey! Kick his head! And he dies. But if you don't kick his head, he regrows. And they turn his head turns into a blue coin. Hey Goombas are back. Welcome back. We missed you, except didn't. Um, I don't know what these things are called. Whoa, hello sign. I wonder what you say. Just so you know, I actually haven't read most of the signs in the game, so I don't actually know what they say. Watch out, don't let yourself be swallowed by quicksand. If you sink into the sand into the sand, you won't be able to jump in your head goes under. He'll be smothered. The dark areas are bottomless pits. Basically, well, so those the guys are dangerous. You will get crushed very easily. They kind of bait you into doing things and then they are dangerous. So yes. So that is the way you're supposed to go on your first trip here. This is a pink bob -omb. He won't explode because he is your friend. Hi, I'll prepare a cannon for you. This cannon is actually pretty useless. It is not required to get, but I will be opening all the cannons. I believe, probably, maybe. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. Yay. So, welcome to the bird. This is the bird. I kick him. There are actually two birds. They each contain the star. Uh, the other bird is actually over there, right over there. He will also contain the star. I think it'll, I'm not sure if it'll appear over here, I'm not actually quite sure. Where's that bird? I want to show you what he can do. I'm not sure if he'll do it in this mission. I know, I know this bird does something, but because he was holding a star, I'm not sure if he'll actually do it. So let me go run up this pillow. Yes, these pillows will be logic. You can run up them like any logical pillar would allow you to do. And sand, you can fall into it. 
very deeply by farming into it. It makes sense because of this logic. Um, so the bird, I, I'm guessing it doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, I'm actually going to break a little rule just so I can do something. Here we go! Here we go! So, that is course number 8 in the talents of the big bird. So that is that. So I'm going to go back in here because I want to do something very special for you. Actually, uh, I'm actually this part. Thank you so much. Have a good day.